Hello folks, welcome back. This is Kweku. I'm a pharmacist. This channel is dedicated to healthcare information as well as pharmacy stuff. So feel free to hit the subscribe button if this is something that you find interesting or useful. Today I'll be reviewing the medication amoxicillin. We're going to be taking a look at what it is and at which we'll cover things like how it works, some safety issues, dosing and how it is supplied. We'll also take a look at some of its general uses the side effects, some potential drug interactions, as well as best practices for taking amoxicillin. This review is intended for informational purposes only, so please do not substitute this for any special instructions that you've been given by your healthcare provider. Amoxicillin belongs to the penicillin class of antibiotics. It is quite similar to penicillin itself, however, it tends to have a broader spectrum of bactericidal activity, or in other words, it kills a broader range of bacteria as compared to penicillin itself. Its activity lies in its ability to prevent the synthesis of the bacterial wall, without which the bacteria die off and therefore leading to the cure of whatever infection is uh, it is being used for. It is generally considered very safe, unless of course you are allergic to that class of medications. In that case, we need to be careful. But generally, every population group, including infants, are able to take amoxicillin. The typical adult dose utilizes the 500 milligram capsules, which may be given one or two capsules about three times a day, usually for about seven to 10 days, depending on the infection that is being taken care of. Amoxicillin is used to treat a variety of infections, including ear, nose, and throat infections. Think about strep throat. It is used in even some skin infections, and maybe not the first choice, but in some cases of uncomplicated gonorrhea. Amoxicillin may also be used in combination with another antibiotic, uh, clarithromycin, and a proton pump inhibitor like comeprazole to take care of a particular bacteria called Helicobacter pylori, which is typically present in people with stomach ulcers. Amoxicillin also finds a lot of use in, the, in dentistry. It is used in the treatment of dental infections, as well as a prophylactic or preventing a condition called bacterial endocarditis, which is the inflammation of a lining of the heart. People undergoing dental procedures are sometimes prone to this. Therefore, they are giving amoxicillin, usually about 2,000 milligrams prior to that dental procedure. While we are on the topic of what it is used for, I must state here that amoxicillin, or for that matter, all other antibiotics, are not effective against viral infections like the common cold or flu. With respect to side effects, amoxicillin is very well tolerated for the most part. One of the most common um, side effects of amoxicillin is gastrointestinal upset or sometimes manifesting as diarrhea or nausea and vomiting in some instances. But on the whole, it is very well tolerated. A rash may develop and a rash may need to be taken more seriously because it could be a sign of an allergic reaction and therefore please consult your healthcare provider if you develop a rash after taking amoxicillin. With respect to drug interactions, the first one I want to mention is to be careful if you're a lady taking birth control pills as amoxicillin may sometimes interfere with the activity of some birth control pills. Um, usually it's recommended that a backup method should be used whilst on amoxicillin. Also, if possible, avoid the co-administration of amoxicillin with uh, tetracycline antibiotics. Tetracycline antibiotics include uh, doxycycline, minocycline, and tetracycline itself. What these tetracycline antibiotics do is that they actually inhibit the antibiotic activity of amoxicillin. So it's something worth taking note of. Another one worth mentioning is methotrexate. Amoxicillin tends to reduce the clearance of methotrexate from the system. So if used concurrently, it may lead to a buildup of the methotrexate in the system leading to methotrexate toxicity. For best practices, I believe the most important one is to take it exactly as directed, Take ex especially for the duration for which you are instructed. Uh, don't stop taking amoxicillin because you feel better after two or three days. We, know, we all know what that leads to, development of resistance. Also, as much as is possible, try and take amoxicillin at equally spaced intervals. It is important that the concentration of amoxicillin in the system remains constant during the period while you're taking it as this ensures that you don't have a failed therapy or the medication does not work as it is expected to. So thank you for staying through. Hopefully this video was helpful. Feel free to share with anybody whom you deem may find it helpful as well. And thank you once again for staying through.